we have some athletes, let's say ice skaters, um, uh, ski jumpers, uh, high jumpers, et cetera, that they don't want increased muscle size. They like want a runner increased, or something like, like yes. So, yeah. so there are many sports where weight um, maintenance is absolutely critical to your performance. There's many other uh, sports. I mean, uh, you know, whether it's sumo wrestling or American football, uh, where size does matter. So depending on what you want to achieve, you can do both. So for example, if I wanted to increase my bicep uh, a size, the key here would be to do the katsu um, as I slowly move the arm up and down. So you want to slow and you want to contract the muscle in both directions. When I reach failure, when and right now, literally, I can feel my uh, my left arm actually building up. Lactate and you're not you're not like right now. For those of you that are listening on audio, he's not using any weight. He is just no. literally doing a bicep curl with his hands, cl fist closed. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And and I don't know if you you can I don't know if you can see you can see you're jacked uh, on that one. <laughs> yes. And and I'm right handed. Yeah. And I'm right handed. Yeah, yeah. You know. So you can increase both uh, you know short term and long term this it, for muscle size, you can move it slowly. So for example, if you had, uh, I'll just pick a 35 year old woman, he, she has two children and she just wants to get back into uh, shape Let's in this case. So in, with the ideal exercise would be walking or a Stairmaster, squats, et cetera, no, nothing weight bearing. So no, no um, you know, bar on the back of their neck going up and down. Now, some women like the and men like that feeling of of holding a dumbbell or holding a barbell. Mm -hmm. In this case, we recommend just don't use the plates, just use the 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 bar itself. We have we have athletes at the highest level just using the bar where they normally would be leg pressing an incredible amount of weight. If they go slowly, they will increase muscle size. Now, if they go quicker, their heart rate is going to is going to be elevated, and they will be gaining uh, functional strength at the speed that they're going. So, for example, I, I mentioned a, a golfer. Golfer, if they want to increase their club head speed, they will actually be golfing, driving at the speed that they normally do with the bands on. So, depending on what you want, and and let's say. Uh, let's say you want to run your first 10 K run for the first time. You have no idea how fast you want to go, or your friend says, Hey, I want to run, you know, faster than 40, 40 minutes in my, my 10 K and you go, okay. So in this case, you would, you could get on a treadmill. You, of course you could run outside too. And you take your, uh, your ideal pace time, let's say per kilometer, whatever it is. Take your ideal pace time, put the bands on your legs and put it on a little, just a tiny bit of pressure. And then you run at that pace for, let's say, a kilometer rest, run at a kilometer rest, et cetera. As you go through the season, you increase the pressure incrementally. What you are effectively doing is you're teach, you're giving more stress on your body in the same way that if you started to do high altitude training. So let's say you're mm. training at uh, sea level, you put it a little bit more pressure, you're training at, uh, let's say, 500 meters, let's say you put a little more pressure training at 1000 meters, by the time you actually finish your training, you are running at the same ideal pace at let's say 5000 meters, now comes race day. <laughs> now your body is very prepared for a quick 10k run, or cycling or rowing or whatever i mean we have lots of women who do this and they just love they take a boxing class you know once or twice a week that's just part of what they do or kramaga or whatever they would like to do they put on the bands either on their arms or legs and go ahead and do whatever movement we do we have zumba people we have dance people <laughs> you you name whatever the bands are are uh shaped and and uh, placed so there's complete freedom of movement on your arms or legs. Um, so you can do any 
exercise. And depending on what you want to achieve, muscle stamina, muscle strength, muscle size, uh, or the reverse. There are some athletes, especially, let's say, um, uh, those who are in the combative sports, uh, MMA, boxing, wrestling, or dancers, um, ice skaters. You know, if you have pairs ice skating, you know, the, the man has to be pretty strong and the woman has to be fairly light and agile because one yeah. is lifting the other. We have acrobats, Cirque du Soleil people do it because they're doing certain movements, balancing, holding up someone. So all of these movements can be done with the bands, either on your arms or legs. Okay. So is this, when we talk about aerobic exercise, so you mentioned like a boxing class, Krav Maga, which is something I totally want to get into, by the way, just as a side note, I'm like, really, I, I have followed this Instagram account. I'm like, I have to learn how to do this. Yeah. But, uh, so we have like Zumba classes, dance classes, ballet, all the, is this, uh, would you wear the bands for more low intensity exercise? Or would you also wear it for like sprinting and high intensity or super maximal intensity exercise as well, or a, just any kind? Any kind. So we do have the U.S. track and field, especially our 100, 200, or 400 meter runners use katsu in, in the form of their training. So we have the, you know, at least in the United States, we had the fastest, fastest Americans using katsu, both male and female. Um, it's quite interesting because a lot of power of uh, people who do, um, who have to move quickly, that includes basketball players. That includes, in the case of uh, our European users, uh, the German bobsledders. Here are big men who, and women who have to push a very heavy sled for about, you know, whatever, seven seconds, and then get tucked in. All of those people use katsu in different ways, whether you're going, you're trying to move very quickly, like a baseball throw is very quick. A diver, we have um, high platform divers that are using it. They don't use the bands while they're actually diving, but they use it in their form of training. So they're trying to uh, increase their utilization of fast switch muscles. So whether that any kind of uh, uh, fast movement, but fast movement, you know, that's sort of reserved for your, for your athletes or people who are performing for something um, or your soldiers. Most of our users who tend to be older, tend to be working adults, retirees, et cetera, most of those people are not into uh, very high intense, high speed activities. For them, using the bands over the course of a half an hour, hour, doing gentle movements of walking, um, this, is, this is ideal for them because they're sort of getting more bang, or they are getting more bang for their buck when they have the bands on, when their um, uh, uh, limbs are engorged in blood. <laughs>